Next, let's talk about aquatic plants. Many species of plants have special adaptations for living submerged in the water or at the water's surface. Aquatic and wetland plants don't belong to any one particular plant family. They come from several land plant families and have acquired similar special adaptations to allow for life in the water. The most common adaptation is large air spaces or ch channels running through the leaves, stems, and roots. These air channels allow an exchange of gases between the parts of the plant that remain submerged in water, such as the root, and the parts that reach above the water's surface. Other adaptations are floating leaves and leaves divided into many deep, narrow segments. Aquatic plants fully adapted for life in water can only grow in water or in soil that is saturated with water. A few aquatic plants are able to survive in brackish or salt water, but only in shallow areas. Several species of seagrass are found in Texas's bays and estuaries. Seagrass beds are important to the estuary food chain. Decomposing seagrasses leave nutrients for small shrimp, crabs, and fish. Seagrass leaves also provide protective cover for these small animals. Waterfowl, such as redhead ducks, also feed on seagrass leaves and roots. Seaweed in the ocean and in estuaries is often confused with an aquatic plant, but seaweed's not a vascular plant. It's really a multicellular algae. There are many forms of algae, some of which are so small that they can only be seen with a microscope. These algae are part of the phytoplankton in freshwater and saltwater. 